I think it's a great opportunity for my boring names. I was shocked. I did not expect that. And I think, I, I, I don't think it reflects anything except randomness. The market has been clear. The Fed has been clear. We've had, the market has doubled in three years. It was up 29% last year. It's time for the market to take a pause or even pull back. And everything I'm seeing is telling me that's what we're gonna see longer term. Yeah, okay, so let's get to some of your, your boring steady names. And Kate, I gotta say I'm a little hurt. I thought we were friends. One of your boring names is a company I cover dramatic. That is Chenier Energy, liquefied natural gas, run by Jack Fusco, who's been a friend of CNBC. I mean, they're shipping gas over the world and making a lot of money. It doesn't seem that boring to me. Oh, Chenier is plenty boring. How much more boring can you get? What do they do? They bring the gas down to Corpus Christi, they put them in LNG tanks, and they ship them out. They don't even have commodity price risk, Brian. They don't, they don't take commodity price risk. They don't take volumetric risk. They get a fee. Pretty boring. Here's why. The world needs energy. We are ESG investors. We love ESG. However, you can't survive on ESG. Look what's happened in Europe. The wind isn't blowing. So you need natural gas. You buy Chenier, you're getting a 6% yield, and it's growing. It's growing 5 or 6% a year. We think Chenier is beautiful. It's boring. Yep. It's made a lot of money for us. And in this environment, you need something like this to go hide in. Well, they have giant ships, which I think are kind of cool. Your next company, Kate, actually may be even more boring because you talk about giant ships. This company, all they do, Unitil, is provide electricity. Electricity costs, to your point, have been high where you are in Boston and southern New England. That's kind of where Unitil is. Uh, is, this a, is this a rate play, kind of a utility dividend play? It, it's a rate play. It's a dividend play. And it's interesting because on the one hand, Rate stocks are compared to the yield, the 10-year yield. So in a sense, if the Fed is raising rates, this should be bad for utilities and other uh, dividend-paying stocks. However, they are much safer, Brian, than these high-flying growth stocks, these stocks that are trading on 10 times revenue. In this environment, I'm not going to change my strategic yep. asset allocation. However, I'm going to buy something like Unitil. It's boring. It yields 3.7%. Market cap is under a billion dollars. It's well-managed, and they've got strong earnings targets.